All right, we're doing an official taste test between Saint Viateur and Fairmont Bagels. All right, guys, so we're here in Montreal, and if you guys know anything about Montreal, they have a lot of great places to eat, but one of the main things that they have here is bagels, and so uh, Kate and I are gonna go head out to the two top bagel places here in Montreal, and we're gonna have a taste test to see which one's the best. All right, let's go. So apparently these are like the two best bagel places in all of Canada, or maybe just Montreal, but they're supposed to be the best. So we uh, came down Mont Royal Street. Oh, Mont Royal, that's like Montreal. Mount Royal, Mont Royal. <laughs> that moment when you realize Mont Royal is Mont Royal. Cool. All right, we're gonna try this food. <laughs> <laughs> and we also stopped at Cafe Olympico to get some coffee. The interesting thing about these two shops is that they're just simple walk-in shops. You just walk in, it's simple, you go in, you go out. There's not sitting around, there's no dining area, it's just bagels. And they don't let you toast them here either. They don't toast, which I'm okay with, but Kate's not having it. So uh, it's gonna be like soft and fluffy. I think it's gonna be delicious. I don't like they're fluffy, I think they're dense. Nobody wants dense bagels. If they're dense, then they can't be the best bagels. All right, we gotta find we'll out. One way to know. And we got some cream cheese in case they taste like shit. Wow, you can already see the difference between this is the same Viator and this is Fairmont. They don't look too different. Maybe this one's just got a little poop on it. You wanna cut them in half and then we'll uh, eat them together? As in yeah. cutting, yeah, this is like much easier to cut through than a bagel that you get from like a grocery store. <laughs> they better be better than grocery store bagels. <laughs> it does look a little, like, it is okay. kind of soft on the inside. Yeah. yeah. So I'll start with the ferro mount. Also, I'd just like to point out, I'm usually. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to point I'd out. like to point out. I'm pointing out. Are we doing it? Yeah, okay. let's do it. So cheers. cheers. Fairmount. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Boring. This dough. <laughs> Very and sesame. Meh. I feel like I'm eating sesame oil on bread. Yeah, I think we need something that's just too dry. Same via Cheers. Mm, this is more like chewy. Mm -hmm. It has more of like a, a texture to it that's like like a taffy. I yeah. like that. I think this one's a little sweet. It is less sweet. Wait, isn't that what they said? They put honey in the water when they boil. Really? And that's different for Montreal. Yeah, Alright. Maybe even getting a little overwhelmed by the sesame flavor. But yeah. this one's a little bit more bitter to me, honestly. So, the Fairmount is sweeter. The Seveator has a better texture. Yeah. I'm gonna try it with cream cheese, because honestly I love cream cheese and I think it'll be better. Let's do it. All right, so going for the same Viator one, because it wasn't a sweep, put it some cream cheese on it now and seeing if that enhances it or does anything different. Does it change the profile of the flavor at all? I mean, now it just tastes like dairy. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't change it much. Not really. Honestly, I feel like the biggest thing we're missing is you should be toasted. They'd be so good. They were like warm. She keeps talking about toasted. You don't get toasted. <laughs> you toast, especially these ones, if you toast them, then you're gonna lose that texture. All right, the last part of this test, we gotta try something with a little bit of flavor. Chocolate chip from Paramount and blueberry from St. Vieter. I am ready. It looks like there's corn in my chocolate chip. Um, there's one in yours too. What is it? Corn? Mm. Why would there be corn and chocolate oh. chip? What is that? One way to find out. Oh, it's orange peel. Yeah. That's what it is. I support that. I've never had a bagel like that. Yeah. Orange peel chunks that on the chocolate chip. Not. Look at them sneaking that in there. I like it. <laughs> All right, onto the blueberry. You're gonna, Cheers. you're gonna eat it without Hell the yeah. cream cheese first. It doesn't have an initial flavor or taste that way, right? This is funny, but on that bite, I touched the top of it to my tongue, and I did not like the taste at all. Well, there's a strategy. See how we're eating it? The bottom side down. Maybe if we uh, flip it over, then our tongue will touch the good side first. Mm. Yeah. Changes the whole experience. Look at that. It's definitely better. It's better sesame. when you eat it upside down, right? Yeah, well, and <laughs> <laughs> we found a bagel hack. 
chocolate chip with orange rind. Not to be confused with orange Ryan. <laughs> orange peel. Bam. Fuck, we did it wrong. It's so, it's so orangey though. It is really orange. Huh? It's like an orange zest, right? I, yeah. I was like, you never had a bagel sensation like this. Wow. Yeah. Mmm. What do you say? What? Now imagine that one warm with butter. Imagine a bagel toasted. All right, so now it's time for a review. We have uh, tried four different bagels. Overall, what was your favorite sesame? So hard, but I think this one was the same Vietnam one. And why? Well, I think the taste was better. <laughs> That's a good qualification. But I kind of liked the texture of Fairmont better because it tasted more like a toasted bagel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm very big on the toasting. This one wins for like dough density. Okay. But and then with the flavored ones, what do you choose? Oh. I definitely choose the chocolate chip one because it's the most unique. The sesame was St. Viator and the flavored one was Fairmont. Yeah. Okay. All right. So my turn. Uh, the sesame, I agree with Kate. I like the, the texture, like um, kind of a almost uncooked dough type of taste with the, the St. Viator bagel. But we go to the flavored one. That's where the game has changed. The chocolate chip with the orange zest was a surprise, but it was really delicious. And the blueberry, I mean, that's kind of my go-to usually when I go to a bagel shop is I get blueberry or the raisin cinnamon. But I have to say the Fairmont with the orange chocolate chip by far beat the blueberry. So if we're going for overall, which one would you choose? I would miss the chocolate chip and the orange zest so much, but I think I would go with this one. The same. Saint Viteur. Saint Viteur. Oh, so Saint Viteur is your winner. Yay. I guess. You, if I had to choose just one bagel shop to go to for the rest of my life, and I couldn't go to the other one, it would be hands down Fairmont. I like the dough at Saint Viteur, but I'm a flavor guy. I would 100% get a flavored bagel every time I go. So like that said, Fairmont would be the place for me. And that wraps up our review. Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it a lot. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave us comments in the below. And if you want to see Kate in more videos, let me know too. Because if you don't like her, then I'll make sure I cut her out of all the other videos and vlogs. So. Not very nice. Anything you want to say to goodbye? <laughs>